It doesn't bother me one bit for the National Security Administration to have my phone number. Mr. President, you did what you had the authority to do and I congratulate you. I can't imagine filibustering the bill that I like. I can't imagine filibustering the bill I'm actually for. I think we can, uh, we can take a, a hit. Obamacare will take a hit, but it won't be defunded. And I don't do this much, but I want to thank Ted Kennedy. Well, Mr. President, you made the right call today. We helped President Obama when he needed our help the most. The question on every conservative's mind, how do we beat Lindsey Graham? I do not believe that question deserves an answer. To win, we have to remember that doing something that is weak is just as bad as doing nothing. Bill Connor is a committed conservative and proven leader who can win. Bill is a 23-year Airborne Ranger infantry officer and Afghanistan combat veteran. He currently serves as a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Army Reserves. He's a father and husband and a conservative leader we know and trust. Lindsey Graham has been in Washington for 19 years, and that's just too long. The small federal government our founders intended was for citizen legislators, people who would take time away from their families and businesses for a few years, do what's right for our country's future, and come home and live in the same laws they passed, keeping that good, old-fashioned, South Carolina kitchen table wisdom and perspective shouldn't be too much to ask of our senator. After nearly two decades in Washington, Lindsey Graham's values and votes look more like they came from a congressional conference table. You can tell an election is coming when Lindsey Graham is calling himself a conservative again, holding guns on TV and railing against the president, sometimes. Telling everyone who will listen he's against Obamacare and he supports traditional marriage and the right to life too, but it's just talk. In South Carolina, we've learned the difference between a politician's talk and a senator's walk. The votes a U.S. Senator casts that have the most lasting impact are during the confirmation process for the Supreme Court. In the last few years, the court's activism has had a devastating effect on our country. Obamacare came within one vote of being struck down. When the Defense of Marriage Act was overturned, it also came down to one vote. Rulings on domestic surveillance, guns, and so many other rights that we hold dear will be made by the court for years to come. The last two times South Carolina senators were faced with voting to confirm Supreme Court members, they are presented with two liberals, Judge Kagan and Judge Sotomayor. Our conservative hero, Jim DeMint, voted no on both of them, and Lindsey Graham showed his true colors and voted yes. South Carolina conservatives know that's just the beginning, but isn't that enough? Those votes aren't South Carolina kitchen table values. As your senator, I'll join Ted Cruz, Mike Lee, Rand Paul, who are fighting for a solution to Washington's problems. One thing is for certain, a quarter century of Lindsey Graham is not that solution. I'm Bill Connor. I ask for your help, your support, your vote, and your prayers. But the good news for the Republican Party is the debacle is over if we don't do it again. And I promise you, I'll, I'll end this soon.